another bad dream? Surrounding you is a dirty, abandoned office building. You don't know how you got here. You don't know anything. In front of you, sound is coming from behind a closed door. Do you open it? You open the door. Yeah, there's no way that worked. The monster is... The lights went out, and the door won't hold her for long. There are three places that you can hide. Inside of an empty closet, which doesn't have a doorknob. Crouch behind the filing cabinet, or ducked under the desk. Where will you hide? You ran to the closet and pressed the door shut quietly. Then you crouched beside the door, and you listened. It's quiet, and maybe she's gone, so you peeked through the door hole. She's gone. For real this time. The door she forced open can't close now, but at least it's safe to leave the room and look around. On the floor, the filing cabinet is open, and papers are scattered all around. What do you do? You investigate the papers. One paper is full of numbers and charts, and descriptions of some kind of energy project but the text is too small to read in this lighting. The other two papers are handwritten, and seem to have been torn out of a binder. You hold them up to see them more clearly. But before you can read it, you hear a sound. <laughs> it was just your imagination. Now you can see it clearly. These pages are all blank. And that filing cabinet was empty all along. Inside the filing cabinet is a torn, hand-drawn map. A red X marks your location. If you went into the hallway, there are two bathrooms to the right, more offices to the left, and one large room in the center. Or you could just follow the hallway and go beyond the area shown on the map. So which way do you go? Feeling a sudden urge to pee, you slide the map into your pocket and head towards the bathrooms. As you go down the hallway, you pass several large windows, which lead into the big room in the center of the map. The inside looks like normal cubicles, but you notice something... strange. <gasps> you jump to your feet and run towards the bathrooms, where you slam the sturdy looking door shut and lock it. You hear the ghost approach, but she doesn't bang. Instead, she just stands there, like she's waiting. Inside the bathroom, there's something strange. But you ignore it because you still need to pee. Once you finish peeing, you'll have to make a decision. Will you rush out of the room where she is currently waiting? Or will you look around the bathroom? You walk to the sink and wash your hands like a gentleman. While washing, you catch your reflection in the mirror. Oh, just look at that handsome face. Sin Is that... <laughs> when the lights went out, you stumbled backwards and hit your head against a wall. And then you lay there, unconscious. You force your eyes open and look up to see what's in this room with you. But you've hurt your head and your eyes are feeling heavy. So slowly, they drift back closed. You're still now and you're feeling very warm. Do you go to sleep? You fell asleep. You force your eyes open and just before it grabs you, you manage to push yourself away. But that monster is in your head, and you can't find the strength to stand. So, with the last of your energy, you reach up to the deadbolt on the bathroom door. Don't move. And you turn it. Stay still. You can't stand anymore. And as that creature inches closer, you look up, 
and realize it's not the only thing coming towards you. You close your eyes and brace yourself when you you feel better and she's not attacking you. Instead, she gets a little closer and she says, Run. She vanished, but a sound pulls your attention to the door. And now you run down the hallway as that monster smashes the door. You have to make a decision now. Do you hide in the empty cubicles or do you search for a weapon in the private offices? You run to the private offices and through the first open door you can find. There's no lock, so quickly you brace yourself against it and you get ready for... nothing. It doesn't even try to break in. But you're sure it was chasing you, so who knows when it'll find you. For now, you need to search for a weapon. Oh. You. You chose wrong. <laughs> Finally, you decide to riz up the ghost. She's distracted looking at something, so you get her attention. Sin! Sin City was made. You change your mind. A hey, wait. Sin, Sin City was made. You're safe here. And you're happy. But you can't stay. This isn't real. So wake up. You chose not to wake up, because you're happy here, but she is very mad about your decision. Wake up! Something's wrong. You'll need to wake up and... Oh, that's right. You're safe here, and you're both happy. So you lie down together, and you go to sleep. You're falling? What happened? She was right. You need to wake up and find out what's happening. <laughs> Another bad dream? Surrounding you is a dusty laboratory room. It looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Outside the window is a large empty room, and outside the door, it's quiet. So, where do you go? Acting cautious, you stay in the lab and look around, and you start by investigating your options. Outside the window is an enclosed field, with withered plants all over the ground. To the side of the window, there's a shelf that was hidden due to the shape of the room. You find a screwdriver on it, and, just in case, you decide to keep it. Outside the door, the hallway is dark, and, aside from the hum of air vents, it seems quiet. Finally, you move to the computer. And it... <laughs> it's filthy. This won't do. So you lift an old rag from the desk and you wipe it down. Oh, you missed a spot. It turned on. There's icons for Qmail, for files, and there's a chat pop-up on the side of the screen. You could still leave like before, or you could see who's messaging you. So what do you do? You open the messaging app. You well, that's rude. Hello. You. Maybe you should turn this thing off. Why didn't you wake up? Oh, you know who this is. Do you remember me? The cute ghost lady? Uh, I'm not a ghost. <laughs> this is awesome. Be serious. A watcher will get to you soon. You don't know what a watcher is, but before you can ask... Pretend you don't remember, and you'll be fine for now. Come to the third door in the hallway. Look at computer. Good luck. And with only that, she's offline. A familiar red glow has started showing in the door's window. If you trust her, you should be fine. Or the window is still an option. So, what do you do? You completely trust her, so out of caution, you switch off the computer, and then you step into the hallway. Instantly, you can tell that you're not alone. Still, you walk forward, and you try desperately to ignore what's in the corner of your eye. 
and when you pass it, you run. Clutching your screwdriver, you take a breath. You made it. But this room is very dark. You can only see the area directly in front of the lit PC screen. From that, you can see boxes and books on the shelf to your right. You could investigate the computer, like she said to, or you could try to find a flashlight or something useful on the shelves. So, what do you do? Instead of wasting your time looking for a light, you head straight to the computer. On the screen, you see an image is uploaded each time that device beeps, and that makes you realize it must be a camera bolted to the desk. So you open the most recent picture, and it shows something, apparently, is growing into the floor on the dark side of the room, the side that you can't see so clearly. It is a little worrying, but you still have your screwdriver. And the door is still right there, so you can always run away. So instead, you open up the notification on the top left. It shows a mailing inbox, so you open the most recent letter when... <laughs> it might be extremely risky, but you're going to hug the monster. And so you reach your... INSANE! hands out, welcoming it to come clo- <laughs> You dodged it, but you drop your screwdriver in the process. Still, with no time to spare, you sprint out the door, and you slam it shut. Now, you could go to the right, which seems to lead to a staircase, or you could go left, back to the- <laughs> Do you go right or left? You sprint to the open door on the right. Out the doorway is a staircase going down. And with no time to spare, you go. The first floor down has two doorways, which are boarded up. So you keep going. On the bottom floor, a door is open. You dash through it and slam the stairwell door shut behind you. Then you lock it and try catching your breath. Ah! Hey. She's back. So, what do you do now? She's okay! And as you're overcome with joy, you lift her into the air, and you can just tell, everything is going to be okay. You really... She stands and faces the door. As you stand behind her, you can tell that she isn't happy. But before you can ask, she takes your hand and starts leading you down the dark hallway. As you walk behind her, you get the feeling that this hallway lasts for a pretty long while. Now might be a good time to ask those questions that you've been wondering. First, you ask her what that thing is that's been chasing you. She looks away, but then says, was one of the founders, and was in charge of developing our food supply. But she was in an accident, and was left paralyzed. And maybe that's the reason she was so eager to volunteer. And you saw what she's like now. You think for a moment as the two of you walk in silence, and then you ask, Who is Dr. Morrow? Then she turns and keeps walking, while you follow behind her. She seems a bit more upset now, but she'll probably answer a few more questions. You finally ask her who she is. Airy. 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 After repeating her name a few times, like she was trying to figure out the right way to say it, she looks at you as if she's expecting a reaction. When you don't give one, she gets even more frustrated, and... Wow. Then you follow her down the maze of hallways, and ask why you can't remember anything. She seems to hesitate before simply saying... You will. 
that seems to be the only thing she'll say right now. Even if you try thinking back to before you woke up, back in that office... Ah! Don't force it. You get back to walking. And you get the feeling that you'll arrive soon. So, you should make this last question count. Inside Natalia's field observation room, the computer is still powered down. But something is suspicious. The dust is gone from some of these keys. Whisper presence detected. Meanwhile, in the maze of hallways. Hey, that kick was awesome. There's something that's been bothering you all this time. If you're the director, and you're... in charge... Why is everyone trying to kill you? <laughs> They're not. The Watchers want to contain you. They don't like that we met, or that I let you out. Natalia wants to infect you, but she doesn't know what's happening. Finally, you arrive at a barricaded double door. Aerie tries to open it, but she seems to be having some trouble. And she gives you a look, like she's expecting something. So, do you help her? You did manage to get the door open, but you got a little hurt in the process. After taking a look at your back, Aerie says, It didn't go very deep. I think you'll be okay. She still seems worried, and suddenly, she seems more scared than worried. She looks around and then says, And she, she just vanished. Looking around the room, there's room for you to hide under those tables, or the light is flickering in the kitchen. So, you could hide in there. What do you do? Thinking outside the box, you chose to climb into the ceiling panels. After pushing a panel open, you grabbed the pipes running beneath, and you pulled yourself up. It looks like there's another opening. Uh, uh, dropped down into a storage room. You can tell that it's still searching for you, but you're boxed in, so you'll need to hide until it passes. In the room, there's a few storage cabinets and a large locker propped against the wall. So, what do you hide in? It's coming, and you chose to hide inside the locker. So you climbed in and barely managed to pull it shut, and then... You watched as it crawled into the pantry. You cover your mouth to not make a sound as you watch it search the room. But then it moves to the locker. You slowly raise your leg and you ready yourself to fight. When you breathe a sigh of relief. It seems like something distracted it. But what could have made that sound? Before you have time to think, something starts pulling open the locker. But you don't see anything out there. Still, you're ready for this. Do you kick? Avery? Is that you? Hi. Hi. You open the locker. She looks you up and down, and then leans to the side. I guess the enforcers aren't after us yet. You think for a moment, as Avery moves to rifle through a cabinet. And now that she mentions it, it is feeling better. Uh, this is dull. 
What is- Whoa! What is that? A marinade injector. You'll have to really swing it to get it in. For some reason, that feels a little familiar. Why are you coming? Avery calls out from the other room. You didn't notice she got up. You'd follow her, but something... Something catches your eye. There's... There's oil in there. So, do you take it? It's more beautiful than you could have imagined. Once you've calmed down, you slide the bottle of oil into your shirt pocket, and then follow Avery back out into the cafeteria before you ask her where you're heading. That lab you woke up in. You imagine all that walking again, and you give her a look. Don't worry, the watchers followed us into the halls, so we can take the shortcut now. But how do you know where the watchers are? She doesn't answer, but she leads you out the door, and as you follow her, you realize this place really is huge. You hurry after Aerie towards a small building protruding from the wall. Once you arrive, you notice that the door leading inside is boarded here, too. You'll have to find some other way in. Are you coming? You take her hand and climb in through the window. Inside, the room looks just about how you left it, though the door is open. You follow Aerie into the hallway, but instead of going back to the lab, she stops at that growth thing which is stuck in the wall. Here. Aerie gives you the marinade injector. Just drain a little from this thing. But you look at her and the whatever that thing is, and then you ask, well, why? They don't have the authority to do stuff like this. Aerie watches your expression. For a second, she looks like she expects you to understand. And then she says, I, I know you don't remember, but this was our plan the whole time. It looks like she wants you to trust her again. So, do you? Aerie is suspicious. She seems to know a lot about you, but she doesn't seem to want to say. But still, for some reason, you just can't help but trust her completely. With the syringe full, you stand and turn to her. Did she just slam that armored lab door and She's giving you a thumbs up now, but why the hell is she... <laughs> you push yourself up from the ground. It's that mon... No, it's Natalia. You raise this ring. Stop. You know this is a fight that you can't win, but suddenly it's like you can hear hundreds of voices and they're telling you what you need to do. Oil up! Oil up! Yes! Oil up! Yes, 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 yes! You won't miss this chance, so you jump onto Natalia and plunge the syringe into her. Director Mara? Uh, what just... She's gone? What's happened? You're feeling peaceful, and you could rest here. But you just can't shake the feeling that none of this is real. You're awake now, and Aerie's back. Come on, let's... You push her arm to the side, and as you stand, you tell her that you won't keep going until she explains what's happening. But... what do you want to know? You really can't help but notice the other eye, so you ask her what... or who she really is. Aerie... Morrow. Aerie Morrow, my... Sister. Your wife. 
No, yeah, yeah, I, I knew that. But still, you have one last thing that you want to ask. My question is, does it jiggle? <laughs> you know, uh, like, do, do they jig- <laughs> Aerie? Aerie, what's happening? Wait, wait, how are you here? And, and what's happened to your- That's, that's one of the Watchers. This, this isn't the grotto. Or where in the grotto system are we? Oh, then the Overseer must- AHHHHH! Aerie steps away while you take a moment to steady yourself. You don't know why you feel so anxious, but when you look back at Aerie, she says, Yeah, they do jiggle. Let's move. WHAT?! I need to- What? What is that? That is the Overseer. I... we have to fight that? Not us. Not in here. Let me explain what happened to you. Before all this. Before you can remember. Every time. You yeah. wake up and group up with Aerie. You start trying to get through the endless hallways to find a way to send commands to the Overseer from inside. But eventually, it would always end the same way. Airy realized there was no path you could take where you wouldn't eventually get caught before you could change things. So, she did what she had to do. And deleting your- your memories, let me connect you with all of them. Huh? Who? Uh, and, and- Even, even that, that barely worked. Did- Did you draw this? You take a deep breath and ask, so what now? What, what do we have to do now? I'll, I'll hold it back for a while. I don't think you'll ever get your memories back, but in the meantime, you can see how this all started. You stare at the gap before you. If you walk through it, y y you'll forget everything that happened again, or you won't. But he will. Uh, uh. He's gonna need you to help look out for him. Huh? What? She doesn't answer. So, do you leave her behind? Sorry. This one isn't for you to choose. <laughs> Another bad dream. You push the desk in front of the closet door. It's too heavy. Working together, you both push the desk in front of the closet door. It didn't work out. You feed her a Snickers. Oh, she liked it. <laughs> 